Department of St. Vincent issued a statement on April 8, stating that residents living in the northern part of the island are making final arrangements to evacuate if activity increases at Les Soufrières. Early Thursday morning, geologists on the island said monitoring stations reported low-level seismic activity with four different ones at varying times with the latest at 10 a.m., which shows an increase in activity. It was also reported that long-period earthquakes have registered, where fresh magma is trying to reach the surface. Residents, especially the ones living in communities close to the volcano are encouraged to be prepared if it becomes necessary to evacuate. The Caribbean has had many volcanic eruptions in the past 100 years. The eastern Caribbean islands lie on a plate boundary. The North American plate, which is the denser of the two, sinks beneath the Caribbean plate creating suitable conditions for magma to be produced. Over time, the magma rises to the surface of the earth where it may erupt. There are 19 active volcanoes in the eastern Caribbean. Every island from Grenada to Saba is subject to the direct threat of volcanic eruptions. Islands such as Grenada, St. Lucia, Martinique, Dominica, Guadeloupe, Montserrat, Nevis, St. Kitts, St. Eustatius, Saba, and St. Vincent, which is currently experiencing active volcanic activity. Other islands in the region like Anguilla, Antigua, Barbuda, Barbados, British Virgin Island Trinidad and Tobago are not volcanic islands, but are close enough to the other volcanic islands, and could experience volcanic hazards such as severe ashfall and volcanically generated tsunamis. These are the active volcanoes in the Caribbean. Soufriere Hills Volcano, Montserrat. Mount Pili, Martinique. La Grande Soufriere, Guadeloupe. La Soufriere, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines. Mount Liamuga, St. Kitts, the Soufriere, St. Lucia, Nevis Peak, Nevis, Mount Scenery, Saba, the Quill, St. Eustatius. At the close of business day Thursday, the island of St. Vincent is under an orange alert with increased magma activity from Les Soufriere being reported. Citizens of the island are prepared to be evacuated if and when the alert reaches red to St. Lucia and Barbados by cruise ships and aircrafts from the U.S. government. The effects of volcanic gases on life may be direct, such as asphyxiation, respiratory diseases, and skin burns, or indirect regional famine caused by the cooling that results from the presence of sulfate aerosols injected into the stratosphere during explosive eruptions.